I'm Steve Barnes from the Times Union, and we're here with Ross Thompson, the head chef of the Old English Pub and Pantry in Albany, to make Eggs Benedict. There are a variety of claims about the origin of this brunch staple, but the one that seems the most popular goes this way. In 1894, a Manhattan stockbroker named Lemuel Benedict, who had a hangover, went into the Waldorf Hotel and asked for toast with bacon, poached egg, and hollandaise. The staff was so impressed they put it on the menu and named it after Mr. Benedict. The meat tends to be the most variable ingredient in Eggs Benedict. It can be bacon, ham, Canadian bacon, chorizo, smoked salmon, or no meat at all. Thompson serves two versions at the Old English, one traditional, with ham, and one with spinach, roasted red peppers, and feta cheese. Both must have hollandaise sauce, which is traditionally a time-consuming and painstaking recipe. Thompson makes a fast version with a blender. Once the sauce is made, wilt baby spinach in a sauté pan, heat up strips of roasted red pepper, pile it on English muffin halves, and give it a salty, cheesy kick with crumbled feta. It's not the Eggs Benedict ordered by a hungover Wall Streeter 120 years ago, but it is delicious. Thanks for watching Dish Videos from Life at Home.